All right, now Samsung is expected to remove the Samsung Messages application from its Galaxy phones and make the Google Messages as default and the only messaging app on the Galaxy phones. Now, this information has been making rounds on the internet and a lot of users are also mentioning that uh, they don't have Samsung Messages anymore on their Galaxy phones. They only have Google Messages and that is the default messaging application on their phone. However, in many regions, we still have the Google Messages as well as Samsung Messages and we are able to set only one messaging application as default application. Now you see when I tap on Google Messages, it asks me to set this application as default SMS app or I can keep the Samsung Messages application as default messaging application. Right now we have got both the choices. We can select the one we want depending on our preferences, depending on the features that they offer. But in some regions, this is the only default application, the Google Messages as the default SMS application. But in many regions, Google Messages is the only default app and you do not have the Samsung messages available by default on the phone. Now apparently Samsung is phasing out the Samsung messages from the Galaxy phones and making the uh, Google messages as default application which may be a welcome change for some of you guys out there but there are some specific features which are currently available on a Samsung messaging application which should be incorporated into the Google messages before Samsung makes the Google messaging application as default without offering the Samsung messages. Now the first thing is the interface of on the messaging application when we open the Samsung messaging app you see the interface is pretty cool uh, it's very well organized the contact is in bold and the contents of that particular message is in small letters which looks pretty cool whereas on the Google messages the interface doesn't look as good as the Samsung messages this could be subjective but I have asked a few of my friends they say that Samsung messages look better when it comes to the UI or the interface and Google messages don't look that great now perhaps Samsung should incorporate uh, some changes in the Samsung messages so that the interface look better. Next important feature which we want to see on the Google messages is let's say if you are uh, creating a message when I tap on the text box you see we get this arrow button here when I tap on this we can access the gallery we can access the camera and we can tap on this plus button to get this particular menu here we've got scheduled messages quick responses subject image video Samsung notes location audio contacts calendar and voice recorder we do get some of these options on the Google messages as well however Samsung notes integration would be great we can directly tap on Samsung notes to pick any note to be sent on the messaging application I can just select this uh, a note here you see that note has been pasted right here into the text box which is a very useful feature if you are a Samsung Galaxy phone user. So there is a seamless integration between the system applications and the uh, Samsung messaging application which is not currently there on the Google app and Samsung should incorporate this and we also have scheduled messages option right here and we've got voice recorder option and a calendar option as well it will directly take us to the uh, Samsung calendar instead of Google calendar so uh, we should get this choice as well. And now let me show you something very important. When I tap on this gallery option here, you see we have got the link sharing option turned on here. Whenever I'm sending a particular image, let's say I want to send a few images from the gallery. I am tapping on these three images here. You see, we get an option to send using link sharing. Because I have turned on this feature here, we get a link sharing option. I can send all these three images together through a link right on the Samsung messaging application, which is a very seamless integration between the messaging application and the Samsung's link sharing feature. I can tap on send. You see, it is creating a link here and all the three images have been sent as link. I can just tap on view. You see it is showing me these three images in link sharing and the receiver will be able to open this link on any browser or uh, they can open it on the phone itself and uh, select these images to download them. That is a fantastic feature which is currently available on Samsung messages which is not available on Google messages. Now apart from that you see we have got customization features for the Samsung messages. We can tap on this three dot button and tap on customize chat room where we can select any images from the gallery, any color, increase the bubble opacity, text contrast all these customizations are possible on Samsung messages whereas on Google messages we get to choose some preset theme colors only so that is something which Samsung should incorporate into these uh, Google messages as well because as Galaxy users we love customization and we should have those choices to customize the chat rooms or the whole application itself now apart from this customization option we have advanced customization options we can go to theme park engine now here you see we have got the messaging application customization I can tap on 
this uh, to choose the background colors, to choose the text color. And most of the elements on the Samsung messages can be customized right here on Theme Park Engine, which is an advanced customization possible for Samsung messages on the Galaxy phones. Now that is also not available on the Google messages. And we can understand that uh, this is a good luck customization feature and that cannot be integrated to uh, Google messages. However, Samsung should make at least more advanced customization options for the Google messages, which would be great to see. Now, the next important feature which uh, Samsung should consider incorporating into Google messages from the Samsung messages is the recycle bin option. You see, when you tap on this three dot button here and tap on recycle bin, you will be able to see the deleted messages right here in recycle bin. It says messages in the recycle bin will be permanently deleted after 30 days. So for 30 days, you will see all those messages which are deleted inside the recycle bin. Google messages does not offer recycle bin. So that's a very important feature which Samsung should incorporate into Google messages messages before they completely remove the uh, Samsung messages on Galaxy phones. Now, these are some of the important features which are available on a Samsung messages application, which should be incorporated to the Google messages so that we get to enjoy all these features on Google messages. Now, I'm not very sure whether Samsung will remove the Samsung messages from the Galaxy phones, but recently we have seen the quick share and nearby share integration. Now, the nearby share has been removed on all the Android phones and currently we have quick share on the Galaxy phones as well. We don't have the nearby share and the quick share is a default uh, sharing feature available currently and uh, there are all chances that Samsung would remove the Samsung messages application and make the Google messages as default as uh, Google messages offer better RCS messaging and Samsung messages does not offer RCS messaging uh, in all the regions. Currently I do have RCS messages. Let me just show you. I'll tap on this three dot button and tap on settings. You see on chat settings on the top when I tap on that all the RCS messaging features are currently active on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For some reason, this is not active on uh, other phones. Uh, maybe it is depending on the carrier network or maybe the phone model. So it depends. You may or may not see the RCS messages on your Samsung messaging application on the Galaxy phone. I do have it and I do prefer using it and I do like the Google messages as well, but there are some features on the Samsung messages. So I've set Samsung messages application as my default, but I would prefer to use Google messages in the future provided all these features are also getting incorporated into Google Messages. Let me know what do you think? What are your thoughts about this? Do you think Samsung will remove Samsung messaging application completely in all the regions and make the Google Messages as default? Drop a comment and let me know. And those of you who do not have the Samsung Messages at all in your Galaxy phone, do let me know in the comment section. And I did see some of you guys mentioning that you do not have Samsung Messaging application at all on your Galaxy phone. You only have Google Messages. If that is the case, do drop a comment and confirm. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this transition and drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in this wallpaper you can go ahead and download it and while you do that make sure to give a like for this video i would really appreciate that that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i will see you in the next one cheers bye bye